Hello. How is everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. How are you, Marie? I'm good. I'm a little tired, but I'm good. Welcome into what day is it? Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday night Reiki. We are starting a bit early tonight, just testing it out. Okay. Awesome, Marie. If you are new here, say hello. We have an incredibly supportive community where you can share anything. People will chat back and forth with you. Just consent to the flow of the energy as you come in. Reiki is a super gentle energy healing technique. Do you, Marie? I kind of do too. You may feel warmth. You may feel tingling coming through your body. Hello, Lauren. How are you? How's your Wednesday been? Right now, as people come in and get settled, I just clear your energy as you come in with selenite, as you get connected. Hello, Hannah, how are you? Oh, did it? Oh, I love it, Marie. I'm good, just a little tired, but other than that, it's still light outside. I don't normally come on live when it's still light out, but here we are. So again, if you're just coming in, just consent to the flow of Reiki. It is super gentle. It'll never cause any harm. And you can use it for anything from mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual development. I'm good, Hannah. Thank you for asking. Again, just let the selenite gently clear your energy as you come in and get settled. And if you're new, say hello. We have an amazing group of people in here. I am Van, yes. I am trying out, coming on earlier, just 30 minutes earlier. We'll see, it's just a test. So you get me for 30 extra minutes tonight. And again, if you have no idea what Reiki is, it is the channeling of life force energy. This was created in Japan. It is just life force energy that flows through everything that I am channeling to you to help improve whatever you may need work on. Hello, Jesse. How are you? How's your Wednesday been? Thank you. Hi, Jenna. How are you? Welcome in. How has everyone's Wednesday been? Let's do our midweek check-in. How are you feeling? What's going on? Tonight, I think we're going to focus on connecting with our goals, connecting with our higher purpose, but we'll also just take stock of how everyone's feeling and see what we need to work on too. Me too, Jesse. I'm glad you're here. Hello, Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea, I wasn't on Monday because I was sick, so you're okay. I'm good, Jenna. Thank you for asking. Hello, Katie. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I just tapped something on my screen. Okay, I went away. <laughs> Oh, Marie, I love that. Congratulations. I'm glad you won. Glad your little boy won. Oh, you're exhausted, Alexandria. I'm so sorry. I am, Chelsea. I'm feeling quite a bit better. Although, like, I was talking to someone today and I just started sneezing and crying. I'm like, oh, this is embarrassing. I don't know where this is coming from. <laughs> oh, it was great. I do all the time. I perform Reiki on myself all the time, Jenna. Thank you, Van, for the sushi set. Hello, Savvy. I started at 8.30 today, so this is just a test. It's just a test, don't worry. Hello, Tarot and Barrett, how are you? And I'm sorry if I missed your comment. Hello, Renee. Did I miss anyone else? How is everyone doing? I am here. I'm so glad you all are here. Welcome in. I am so sorry, Jordan. We will definitely go into the body, into the emotions, just let Reiki start flowing. Absolutely, Chelsea. Thank you, Tasha, for the rose. Yes, Hannah, absolutely. Reiki can help with that, even if I'm not specifically working on that right now. Let that energy come in and tell it that it is allowed to heal that right now. Oh, thank you, Tarot. I'm glad you're here. And oh my gosh, just catching up on comments. I am 30 minutes early tonight. I am so sorry, Sophia. Yeah, we can try to pull cords. Hello, Irene. How are you doing since our session? 
Hello, Nikki. How are you? Yes, I am trying out 30 minutes early tonight. Thank you, Miss Sade, for the heart me. How about we use some lavender too for a minute? Just calm everything down. Try to bring our emotions down to a calm state. Thank you for the rose, Jesse. Oh, thank you, Jordan. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found us. Oh, that is so awesome, Irene. Thank you. I'm so glad you slept well. And again, if I miss your comment, I'm so sorry. Please comment again. The, the comments were coming in chunks again and pushing things up. So I do Holy Fire Reiki. I am Usui trained, but I use Holy Fire most. It just seems to work a little bit quicker, um, but Reiki was meant to evolve. So I still use Usui here and there, but mostly Holy Fire. Let me just sweep you with lavender. Thank you for consenting, everyone. Again, just consent to the energy flow and it will start flowing. So Usui Reiki is what is considered like the traditional original Reiki, although Usui acknowledges that before he created his lineages, there were his lineage, there are at least four other types of Reiki. Um, in use in Japan. However, they've kind of been lost to time. Um, but Holy Fire Reiki was created by William Lee Rand. William Lee Rand has done a lot of amazing things, making connections with Japan, trying to get more information about, you know, how they use Reiki, get more information about Usui. Um, so he is very big in the Reiki community, so to speak. And he was trained under some of Usui's masters, so he is within that lineage as well. Oh, I love that tarot and ferrets. What can we do to help with obsessive thoughts? Oh, yes, I can talk about that too, Hannah. And thank you again for coming in. Hello, India. I missed you. How's your Wednesday been? And again, let this lavender and Reiki sweep over you. So lavender is very good at calming the nerves, especially calming any stomach upset. Um, caused, you know, by the stress. So I'm just bringing the essence of lavender in and some of it's falling. <laughs> Hello, one love, how are you? Okay, so Hannah, to answer your question about what to do about obsessive thoughts. So I'm always gonna recommend meditation number one, sitting in meditation, even if you can just start with five to 10 minutes. But also in meditation, I would bring in some grounding crystals like black tourmaline, obsidian, black kyanite, hematite, to get you really grounded. Make sure you feel calm, stable, and secure to stop those thoughts. Thank you for the heart, me, Lauren. Hello, Hectic. How are you? Yes, Sophia, Reiki can remove that too. Anything you can think of, Reiki can help with. It really doesn't have a limit. Um, it's life force energy, so it just helps improve things. It helps heal things. It's amazing. And again, if you want to consent to the energy flow, it will start flowing. And if there's a specific issue you have right now, you can give it permission to start healing that. Even if I'm working in a different area, Reiki is sentient and can heal simultaneously. So Sophia, I think tonight we're really going to focus on connecting with our goals, connecting with our dream lives. So just getting you in that space of attracting that abundance, attracting what you want so it just flows easily to you. And that's really been like the, the energy readings as of late. Everyone, I'll be honest with you, everyone to me now when I see them, I'm doing energy work, everyone has a golden ray around them with like golden lights shooting out it looks like everyone got an upgrade in energy and it's up to you if you lean into it and take it but i see it on everyone that i've been working with it is absolutely amazing the energy is so perfect for going after your dreams right now if you if you want to Sophia, you can definitely use Reiki to help manifest in love, find the love that is best for you. You absolutely can. Hi, Diesel. How are you? Welcome into Wednesday. 
So let's do our Wednesday night Reiki to get us through the rest of the week so we finish strong. Or if it's the start of your week, so you can start strong. Oh, just Nikki, it is, it's everyone. It literally is everyone. There hasn't been someone I've come across yet that doesn't have it. Um, so I think everyone has gotten an upgrade, but again, it's up to you if you lean into it and you really take full advantage of it. I'll also make a mention, I've had intentions for abundance and I just got a $5 raise, Hannah. Yes, I love it. Reiki can help you do that too. I have a client, I celebrated her on Instagram. We did one money session, she made two grand the next day and she also got a whole new client. So Reiki can absolutely open you up to that too. It's amazing. Oh, Irene, that is so amazing. Wishing you so much good luck, good energy. Yes, we could definitely probably cord cut. I feel like that would be appropriate in this session. Hello, Sarah, how are you? Welcome into Wednesday night. How is everyone feeling? Are we getting nice and relaxed with the lavender? Again, just consent to the energy flow as you come in. It'll start flowing. Absolutely, Jacqueline. Reiki can help flow out energy blocks too. And I just made a personal video for someone for blocks. Absolutely. This is the lavender from my garden. This is one of them. I'm sorry to hear my husband come in. He's a little late. Oh, thank you. I love the lavender sweets too. I'm glad you all like them. You may hear my puppy too. Well, she's old, but I still call her my puppy. It's her dinner time too. I think we should move right into Astrophilite. Oh, Pacify, I'm testing out coming live 30 minutes earlier, so 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Just a little test run, we'll see. We will see. If it's permanent, I'll change it in my bio. All right, so I wanna use Astrophilite. This is one I don't think that we have used. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Amber. I'm sorry it's been hectic. Um, so see these little like gold flecks? Hello? <laughs> my husband's shutting my door. <laughs> so I love these little like gold bronzy type flecks. You may feel the energy go right up in your head. You may feel it lift. This is going to help you really connect. <laughs> This is going to really help you connect with your higher purpose, connect with divine energy to feel, just to feel how easy it could be to connect with your purpose and your goals and your wants. <laughs> so again, you may feel it kind of get kind of bubbly. Your feet may feel a little floaty. Mine feel a little floaty with this stone. Did it feel like a boost? Yes. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, whoop. I felt like I kind of got picked up. So we'll definitely do some grounding with this too. Thank you for the mate tea, tarot. Hello, recovery. How are you? Welcome in. It amazes me how when men sleep, women are mice, but uh, they are elephants when we sleep. Oh, I get it, Sarah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the it's corn tarot. Got taller over here. That is too funny. <laughs> Thank you for the taco and the ice cream cone. Now I'm hungry. I need something to eat. <laughs> Let yourself just easily step into that divine energy. I'm feeling some of you holding back like, oh, you're like a little bit scared of it because it's change and change can be scary even if it's good for us. Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> Tacos do sound amazing. So yeah, just, just let yourself step, just let yourself step into it, lean into it, feel this divine energy. Don't be afraid of it. It can do no harm. Just let it flow in. Let yourself start feeling that excitement. I'm getting, okay, this is what I'm getting. Some of you are afraid to be excited because you fear it's just gonna fail. 
And some things may fail because they may not just be what's best for you, or you may have a lesson that needs to be learned, but don't be afraid of that. All of it is for your good, if that makes sense. <laughs> so if you're feeling that hesitation, you're feeling that nervousness, the biggest message is to just lean in and feel it and let go a little bit. Oh, that sounds so good, Katie. It is scary when things change. Thank you for the superpower, Romy. Do something that you might not do, you know, do something that kind of pushes your boundary because it could, it could turn out so great. There's benefit to losing, you get to learn from your mistakes. Absolutely, Hannah. My husband just started sharpening our kids' skates and I was scared. Oh my goodness, Jesse. Uh. We could go ahead and do some cord cutting here is what I'm feeling. I feel like it'd be all right. So if you consent to cord pulling and cutting, thank you for the rose. Is it live, live co-star, Kaser? Thank you. Again, if you consent to the energy flow, if you consent to me pulling cords, we're gonna start doing that. I'm feeling some right behind the neck, like at the base of the neck. So I'm just gonna gently pull. It feels like four. We're gonna cut, also pull the roots out. Let Reiki take that energy and fill. Thank you all for consenting. And again, only if you consent will you get energy flow. Only if you consent will um, the cord cutting happen. So nothing will be done to you that you don't consent to. I'm feeling one kind of here, but it feels like it's gonna come from the back. So if you can envision straight back. Thank you for consenting. Let it go. <coughs> that moved some energy and some chests there. We're just gonna use Reiki to fill it. Let me draw one more symbol. I forgot this one. Did you feel it too, Katie? Yes. Fill that with Reiki. Fill it with Astrophilite too, is what I'm getting. So everywhere we just pulled cords from, we pulled five. So four from the neck, one from here. Oh, savvy. Yes, we're definitely going to do a bit more cord cutting and pulling here in a minute. Let's just let this energy settle. Let this astrophilite radiate. And thank you all for being here. I haven't said that yet. Thank you all for being here and doing something for yourself. Oh, that's awesome, Lauren. Um, who asked that? Sky. That was about three and a half years ago now. Oh yeah, we can go all over the body too, Chelsea. We have plenty of time. We can definitely do that. Again, if you're having a specific issue and I'm not addressing it at the moment, just consent for Reiki to heal simultaneously and it will. The universe tells me what needs to be worked on most, so that is what I do. I go with the go with the flow of the universe. Oh, thank you, Jesse. Ooh, interesting, Hannah. You're so welcome, Catherine. And also, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, the links are in my bio, and there's different ways to work with me. Um, I also do um, packages, so if you want to work consistently together, I also offer packages. You can send me a message. Those are not found on my website because each one of them is pretty different. So I can channel a package for you, or if you know, hey, I want to do three sessions. I want to do them all in a week, or I want to do them, you know, you know once a week for three weeks. You can send me a message and ask for a package. I am, I think I'm filled up for August. I could think, I could probably squeeze one or two more in in August, but really September would be the next best time for a one-on-one. -on -one. Have you ever had like a blank out where the universe isn't saying anything at all? Not really savvy, no. Mm -mm. Thank you, Amar. Oh, that's awesome, Sky. You're so welcome. But if you just want like one one-on-one -on -one session, I do have time available for those. And all the links are in the bio. 
I can do candle clearings. If you'd like a candle clearing session, you want a one-on-one, -on -one, not a one-on-one, -on -one, you want a personal video, I can make one too. Thank you, Irene. I'm glad you loved your session. I'm so happy. My bonus check comes August. Oh, that would be awesome, Sarah. I'd love to do a session for you. Hello, Andrea, how are you? Welcome in. Let me just feel into this a little bit more. My husband is banging around. I don't know what he's doing. Sorry if you heard that. I'm feeling another chord, kind of like at the base of the neck, but a little bit lower. So like at the, you know, right at the bottom of the base of the neck. That was a strophalite, Catherine. So I'm gonna pull this, so just breathe in. Take a big deep breath in. Let that energy come over. Breathe out, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Astrophilite is amazing for connecting with your higher purpose, letting you lean into that divine energy to feel how easy it can be to connect with your purpose. It's a very amazing stone. I'm so sorry, Andrea. I'm glad you're here. I feel one in the third eye and crown. So I'm gonna pull from there again, take a big deep breath in. And again, if you consent, um, it'll only happen if you consent. So if you haven't, nothing will happen to you that you don't consent to. So breathe in. Push that energy over, push it over. Whoever has it in the third eye, push that energy over some more. A little bit more. Let it go, let Reiki take it and let Reiki fill the space. I feel like there's still just a tiny bit more in the third eyes. So if you're still feeling a bit of pressure, we'll work on that again. Thank you all for consenting and thank you for being here and doing something for yourself. It's so important that we refresh ourselves, relax. And thank you for liking and sharing and getting the live out so more people can experience Reiki. I believe everyone should get to experience it. That's why I do these lives. So if someone's not able to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I like to offer these group sessions so they can experience it. Thank you, Erica, for the roses. Feels like on your left side. Very interesting. Thank you, Amar. Good draw another symbol. And also, um, if you were here earlier when I was talking about the type of Reiki I use, so I use Holy Fire, I am Usui trained, um, but in Holy Fire, you can still use all the Usui symbols, but it's kind of like upgraded. And then you also get a Holy Fire symbol. So it's very interesting to flip between the two and feel the differences. But right now we're using Holy Fire. I'm so sorry, Andrea. Definitely sit back and relax. Don't think about anything. Let's do another pull from the third eye. So again, breathe in and send that energy over to me. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out that energy. There it is. Let it go, let it go. Let's also use a straw for light for a minute here. Now let's drop into the body, work on the physical body for a minute. This is a very upper chakra stone, so you may feel kind of floaty right now. Let's get grounded and work on some physical pain too, because if you don't feel good, it's kind of hard to do this work and achieve your goals. Did it, Irene? I love it. Oh, Amber, I'm so sorry. Yes, get, get some rest, get some healing in your voice. Yes, get some astrophilite if you don't have it. All right, let's go down into the body. Thank you for the cat paws, Erica. Well, let me turn off the request to join. Hello, Ricky, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you for the ice cream, Erica. I don't know if I said that. 
you feel floaty? Yes, that astropolite will make you feel floaty. So that's why we're gonna drop down now. Uh, Andrea, I am so sorry. Definitely sit back here, absorb this energy because we are going into the back and we're grounding at the same time. I'm pretty sleepy too. Thank you for asking. Not in a bad way, like I feel good, but I'm kind of sleepy too. <laughs> kind of a sleepy day. Let that Reiki build in the stomach. Feel that warmth start to build down there. And again, if you're new here, say hello. Just consent to the energy flow and it will start flowing. Reiki respects your free will. This is the channeling life force energy. It was created in Japan. It can do no harm. You can use it for anything like spiritual development, mental and physical healing. It can help with anything you can think of. You're sleepy too? Yes, Nikki, it's the middle of the week. Hello, Lori, how are you? Welcome in, I'm glad you made it here. Hello, is it Andres? How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. And thank you for the heart me, Tarawan parents. I'm glad you all are here. Just sit back and enjoy the Reiki. Hello, Jackie, how are you? It has, Catherine, I noticed that. That's okay, Andrea, I'm glad you're here. And thank you for the rose. And I think I missed another gift. I'm so sorry if I did, but thank you everyone. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for being here and doing something for yourself as always. I can't say that enough. Was it you? I, I totally missed it. Like I saw it pop up for a second, but then it didn't give me like a comment it normally gives me. So like I could read it later. Thank you, Em starting to yawn Chelsea after that good if you fall asleep during this mission accomplished thank you blue eyes for the roses let's bring in my favorite stone to build that heat it is sunstone you definitely can Sarah I started with them but we could probably do them again thank you for the heart me Michelle I don't know about the Schumann stuff, but there was a tornado. Holy cow, Lauren. Oh my gosh, I hope everyone's okay. And congratulations on reaching level 10, uh, Michelle. So the sunstone, you may sort of feel it hit you pretty hard in the, um, the sacral chakra. This is a really great stone for building your life force energy, building your go-getter energy. I really like to bring this stone in to build up the warmth and start relaxing the physical body. Good, I'm glad he's okay, Warren. Was it a big one? Do they know what category it was? Tornadoes are terrifying. I grew up in the South where there were tornadoes all the time. Hmm. Remind everyone to take meds in case y'all fall asleep. Yes, if you take medicine, <laughs> don't forget to take it if you fall asleep. Sorry, I was talking to a greeting friend of mine. Oh, India, I'm so sorry. I hope that you're doing okay. I am good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I hope you didn't work a lot today. Anyone else feel like there's been sadness and death this week? I am so sorry, Jesse. Definitely come in and just let this be your time to just find peace and relaxation. India, geez, uh, I guess at least it's not 14 today, but 12. We've gotten so many tornadoes in Illinois lately. Oh, I am so sorry, Lauren. We've had some here too. New Jersey doesn't really get them. And we had one probably a couple months ago and we all got in the basement and I'm sitting there and I'm listening and I hear the freight train sound and I look at my husband and I'm like, that is a tornado swirling above us. This is going to touch down. And he was just kind of like, what? Cause he doesn't really, he didn't grow up with tornadoes. And I'm like, Steven, that noise, the freight train noise is a tornado. Luckily it didn't touch down on us, but it did touch down later. I was so scared. We were about to get it. Are you Lori? That is awesome. We have a few people in here from New Jersey. Good, India, rest and take care of yourself. That is true, Rain. You cannot pump your own gas in New Jersey, but I have base access where I can pump my own gas, so that is what I do. <laughs> From Toronto, Canada, welcome in, Leanne. How are you? Welcome to Wednesday Night Reiki. 
And I like to pump my own gas just because I'm used to it. Thank you for coming in. New York, hello. I visited New York one time, it was, or New York City rather. My husband's actually from upstate New York. So I've been there too, loved both places. Uh, and yeah, I'm not really sure like what the really specific reason is. <laughs> Did you, Bethany? That is too funny. Yeah, it's very important if you're from one of the states, I think Oregon's maybe the only other state now. If you don't know how to pump gas and you want to travel out of state, you need to learn because those are the two states that don't do it. <laughs> Connecticut. I love Connecticut too, Katie. I used to live there too. Absolutely, Andrea. Definitely try to meditate. You can keep this on. You hate pumping gas. See, I like doing it because I grew up doing it. Oh, that's too funny, Lori. Um, let's go down into the lower back. I'm feeling some stress and tension, kind of like a, a, um, up around the hip area. Um, where a lot of people probably get back pain from sitting a lot. So I want to bring carnelian into that. So if this is you, sit back and relax and breathe. I'm just going to shake the hips a little bit. You may feel me do that. Jenny in from Washington. Oh, thank you for being here, Ava. I'm glad you're here. No rain. They do not take tips. They are... Um, I mean, I think they might take a tip if you give it to them, but they like get a regular salary. Oh, no, Catherine. Ooh, sit back and relax. If you're holding some tenseness in your body, try to let that go. Readjust how you're sitting, feeling just a little bit of resistance. Hello, Morgan. How are you? Welcome in. How's your Wednesday been? Did she, Kennedy? Yeah. I I don't think that like they expect a tip from what I know. Again, I don't normally like have someone pump my gas, but from what I understand is they do get like a pretty decent like, you know, pay. Oh, India, no, I actually wasn't on Monday because I didn't feel good. <laughs> You don't, Nikki? Yeah, they're pretty rare from what I know, full service stations. Oh, I'm glad it feels good, Grace. Um, so for everyone who didn't know, I started at 8.30 tonight. Just a little test run. We'll, we'll see. Nothing's set in stone yet. <laughs> Do you rain? I love that. Oh, thank you, India. I have some more plants I'm going to show in my Instagram stories. My garden just wasn't looking like the greatest, but I'm going to show some more here in a little bit. If you're not following my, follow, can't talk. If you're not following me on Instagram, the link is in my bio. I post extra content there like tarot readings, um, crystal energy uh, videos so you can feel the energy of uh, different crystals you may not be familiar with. Um, and just like little positive messages, things in my stories. So there's extra content there. Oh, India. So the white ones I posted, no, those are just like big ones growing in the yard. They're massive and they're growing in the yard. I do not know how to cultivate my own mushrooms. <laughs> I wish I did. I do know how to forage for some mushrooms, but I don't really have anywhere to go forage right now. Oh, Melissa, I am so sorry. Sending you lots of healing, calming energy for that dental work tomorrow. Um, let's bring in sunstone with the carnelian and really amp up that heat for the lower back. A truffle pig, Chelsea. <laughs> So I'm still in the lower back, just really trying to loosen up those muscles. I never feel like I get enough air in my lungs. That's interesting, Lori. I'm so sorry. Have you gone to the doctor and seen if maybe like, if there's something happening? 
Thank you, Laura, for the roses. Okay, I feel like some people in here are still having trouble connecting with the Reiki, so I'm gonna do some swipes while I'm holding the stones, bringing that energy down. Just consent to the energy flow. My biggest piece of advice is not try to make yourself feel anything. Just let yourself be in the moment. The less you do, the more you will feel, and it's hard to do less. Hi, Krista, how are you? Welcome into Wednesday night. How's your Wednesday been? Thank you for consenting. Ayana, I think I might have missed one of your comments. I just see the word situation. Breathwork, Amar, yes. I'm good, thank you for asking. And again, just be in the moment. If you wanna join in on the conversation, you definitely can. We have an amazing supportive group here that will chat with you. We're all here to support one another. Don't try to like make yourself feel reiki because the more that you like try to make yourself feel it, the more your energy tends to like close up like a clam. I'm so sorry, Andrea. We are definitely still in the lower back. And now I'm kind of working on each side. Just breathe, let yourself just have this moment to fully relax. Oh, I'm glad it's helping Catherine. And again, if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me, the links are in the bio. We could have a one-on-one, -on -one. we could create a package. I could do a candle clearing for you infused with Reiki and also a personal video. Those are the services I currently offer. I also have a quiz you can take if you're not sure what kind of appointment you wanna have and that can help you choose. Have you, Andrea? I was sneezing a lot today too. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to a sound bath. <gasps> no way, Rain, that sounds so amazing. I haven't been to a sound bath yet. I hate to admit that, but I haven't. I wanna go. Amar, that's interesting. I never heard that before. I'm just kind of massaging each side of the back. So if you, if you, if it feels like someone's pushing on your back, I'm energetically pushing on your back. Don't freak out. It's not a ghost. It's me. Alrighty, Andrea. Hope you have a good meditation. I was just checking your one-on-ones and do you offer payment plans? So for like a package session, I do offer a payment plan. Were you talking like a payment plan for just like one one-on-one? -on -one? This is the first time I have felt Reiki in the place it's supposed to go. Laura, that is awesome. I love it. It's not Casper. It's just me. <laughs> yes, it could definitely work to the upper back. That's instead of grounding, do the other way. Oh, interesting, Amara. I had never um, done it that way. Very interesting. So let's go up the back. You may feel kind of like swirling on your back and in your shoulders. Um, but Hannah, if you were, oh, hang on. I just saw a comment, both. I was kind of looking at different things. Oh, Hannah, so I typically don't offer a payment plan for just one one-on-one, -on -one. but if you were really interested, um, you could send me a message. We could definitely talk about it. Your shoulders. Yes, we are going into the shoulders now. Really kidding. Ooh, oh, I'm feeling a knot on someone's right side and I'm just rolling over it very gently. It's the same way like rising with Kundalini. Absolutely, Hannah. I'm 
you, yes, we are working on that. Um, but definitely if you wanted to have like a block of sessions with me, I definitely offer payment plans for those. You're feeling an energetic knot on your right shoulder. Yes, that's where I'm feeling it. I'm like, it's a little sore. <laughs> I think that was a cat that just jumped down if you heard that. You have a knot on your left by my shoulder and right mid back. Okay, yeah. Let's just work on the back for a moment and then we will get back into where the universe leads us. Let's do a little bit of scraping with black kyanite. If you're new here and you've never had black kyanite scraping, it's good. It's not like, it doesn't hurt. It's in the best way. It really helps get that energy unknotted. So we are just gonna sweep back and forth with it. If you look, it kind of looks like a little broom. So we're gonna start at the tops of the shoulders. You love the scraping, yes. really get in there. Oh, Lauren. Oh, I feel like we just went over the knot in the back. We're going all the way down and then we're going to come back up. Oh, Irene. I love that. He is too funny. He is a character. Making you feel itchy. I'm so sorry, Andrea. It got really tingly, yes. I love black kyanite. So for physical pain, since that's what we're working on now, my biggest recommendations are black kyanite, more for like arthritic things, but it can be good for muscular things too. Um, carnelian that we were using earlier, sunstone we were using earlier, um, even copper. So copper is not a crystal, it's just a metal. Copper, um, I feel like I'm missing something. If any of my regulars know what I'm missing, feel free to shout it out. I just had like a brain freeze. <laughs> Amber, Amber would be a good one. Hematite, yes, that's a good one too. Typically I like to use stones more associated with the lower chakras for physical pain. And then scraping again from the shoulders back down. Hey Sam, how are you? How's your Wednesday been? Thank you. And thank you again, everyone, for coming in and doing something for yourself. Oh yeah, I did, Carnelian, absolutely. Thank you for the rose, GS Cowboy. <laughs> Just doing a bit more scraping. Ooh, the backs feel like they are increasing in heat. I'm literally seeing like knots untangle. So again, just keep relaxing. Don't do anything. Just be in the moment. I'm feeling better, Sam. Thank you for asking. Although today, just like randomly, I started sneezing like crazy and my eyes started crying and I started to sound like a frog and I was like, well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> and I'm going to scrape now up and down instead of left to right. Yes, and me let this black kyanite just release the tension in the back. I think Catherine, I'm not really sure. Um, I only lasted two hours at work on Monday before I was like, I gotta log out, I can't do this. And I just felt really fuzzy headed and feverish. So I do not know. Thank you, Lauren. And again, thank you everyone for coming in and doing something for yourself and experiencing Reiki. Yes, Savvy, I use Reiki a lot when I am sick, and there have been many times where Reiki has absolutely shortened the duration. I can't make a definitive claim that it will do that for you, because that is not ethical and I would never want to do that, but I can say, in my own personal experience, it has. 
But on that same token, when you don't feel good, it's kind of hard to reiki yourself. It's, it's easier if someone else does it to you. Yes, and drink water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Reiki can be like an energetic workout. Yeah, Catherine, I also sat in the bathtub and just like sweated it out. I was like, you got to come out, whatever you are. And I also infused my bathtub space and water with Reiki and just sat there and I was like, just letting the sweat pour. <laughs> Welcome to my life where I share things like that. <laughs> How are the backs feeling now? They feel pretty darn good to me on this side. Oh, and also I do repost these to YouTube if you've ever missed one or there's a section that you wanna replay, you can still access this energy. It is still available to you. It has been sent into the universe and it is there for you to grab onto again when you need it. Good, glad we are feeling better. I'm just going to do a little bit of grounding. So what I'm doing is sort of, well, it's not sort of, it is. I'm creating an anchor, just anchoring you into the earth. So it's like I start the anchor in your lower back and then connect it to the earth to make sure you're nice and grounded, safe, calm, and secure. Because I'm getting a message from the universe. We're probably going to go back up into the upper chakras here in a moment so we don't get too floaty. Um, some people when working with the upper chakras, they forget to ground or they think that grounding will keep them from working in the upper chakras. It is very important that you ground <laughs> if you're going to really do a ton of work up there because it can make you feel nauseous. It can make you sick. It can make you dizzy. So having some grounding helps you work in them even better. So I'm just making like a little anchor into the earth. And also, if you want to envision your feet um, as tree roots and then going into the ground, into the nice, feels like warm dirt to me. Normally dirt's cool, but it feels a little warm. And just soaking up that calm earth energy, just breathing it up into your body. <sighs> yes, Catherine, I can imagine. <laughs> Yes, and literally putting your feet on the earth helps you ground too. For mental clarity, Jacqueline, that is a good question. So there's a few. So my first one would definitely be clear quartz. That just clears everything out real fast. I would also use chrysocolla to help quiet it down. Um, where's my chrysocolla and I can show you. Where did you go? My crystals never wanna be here when I need them. I'll find it in a minute, but chrysocolla is one that really just turns off the thoughts when you just need things to be quiet for a minute. And then that can help clear your mind. Yes, yeah, so you can tune into the earth chakra, the earth star chakra. It's below your feet. Yes, Daniela, a Reiki works for pain too. Right now we've been working um, on back pain. And if you want to set the intention that it help heal any other pain that you have right now, you absolutely can and it can work simultaneously. How I work in these lives is I ask the universe to tell me what needs to be worked on most out of the collective in here. And that is what I work on. Water too, yes, Catherine. Thank you. Hello, Storm, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in everyone to our Wednesday night session. Ooh, I love that, Amber. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I was looking for my chrysocolla and then I gave up. Oh, thank you for the, the little, it's called Fantastic. thank you. I'm still looking for my chrysocolla, it walked away. Oh, it's over here. So this is chrysocolla, it's green and blue. Oh, it's hard to see with my rainbow light. Um, but it's a green and blue crystal. All right, so I do wanna go back up into the upper chakras to connect with our dream life, connect with our soul purpose, our goals. So we're gonna go back up there for a moment. I'm gonna use astrophilite again. 
so that the energy may get floaty again, but since we've done some grounding work, it may not feel as floaty as the first time. And I love these little, they're, they're kind of bronze looking little um, lines in here. And this energy just feels so divine. And it makes things feel easy and powerful. Like, yes, I can step into my goal. I can step into my dream life and it can be easy. <laughs> you can have pizza too. Who says you can't? <laughs> And again, the biggest piece of advice here from the universe is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to step into your powerful energy. Don't be afraid of your power. Pizza game. <laughs> um, if you weren't here earlier, I was talking about how everyone that I have worked with, even people in the lives, um, I see like this golden ray of energy around everyone. And there's like like little, little offshoots in the energy that are golden too coming out. Um, and everyone seems to have this energy around them and it feels like an upgrade, a collective earth upgrade, but it's really up to everyone to decide if they want to fully step into that upgraded energy and step into their dream lives. So that is what I'm here to specifically work on tonight. Kind of flipping back and forth between this and physical body work. Yes, I love the cauliflower crusts. I don't like the cauliflower pizzas with their own toppings. Um, they don't make good toppings. They are very unflavorful. So get the cauliflower crust and then put your own sauce on it and your own toppings and they are so good. And then your tummy doesn't hurt <laughs> from all the carbs. Feeling this in your throat and ear, Alexis. Yes, so that... That tingling to me indicates like using your voice and then also hearing, hearing your, you need to also hear your truth is what it's feeling like. And you need to feel heard too. Absolutely. I feel like we are becoming more mindful of the collective. I like the carbs too, Lauren, but sometimes it really hurts my stomach. So I have to use the cauliflower crusts. Absolutely, Amar. It definitely, it was an upgrade for everyone from, from the divine, from source, because I see it on everyone. And the message I keep getting is like, you know, some people already feel it and are stepping into it, but it's kind of like a choice if you want to really take full advantage of the upgrade. That's kind of how healing is, how energy work is. Like it'll do amazing things for you, it will, but there's also some work on your end that you have to do too, to take full advantage. The crust to me doesn't really taste like cauliflower though, Lauren, now, if you just like gnaw on a piece of cauliflower, <laughs> to me, it doesn't taste like that. I'm usually gluten dairy free, so pizza isn't the best option. Awesome. I could definitely eat less gluten. It's a call to claim your personal power. Absolutely, it is. It is so crazy. I kept having clients and I didn't mention anything until probably about the third client in. And I was like, I am seeing this around you too. I was like, this is everyone. <laughs> and then I came in the lives and I was like tapping into people, of course, with consent again tapping into people who had consented. I'm like, I see it around you and I see it around you. I see it around everybody. So it was a collective energy upgrade. I should probably write about it on my Instagram because I don't think I've posted about it. I've only really mentioned it in here. Oh, Annie, yes. So around everyone, I am now seeing like a golden ray of light. And then there's like little golden pieces of light like this shooting out and I'm seeing it around everyone and it feels like a collective energy upgrade to help everyone step into their their personal power their dream lives their soul purpose 
it feels like everyone has gotten it. You're welcome, Kat. Will it gather? <laughs> it is exciting, Annie. I, it's everyone. It was the whole earth. It was a collective upgrade. Ooh, we need something in the throat. We need to speak our power too into existence. That's an interesting phrasing. Sometimes the, the universe uh, words things strangely and I'm like, grammar? But anyway, <laughs> uh, we need to speak our power. So what do I want to bring in for that? Mm -mm -mm. Let me think. Let's just use Reiki for a moment. As a right. That's what we're going to bring in. This is a blue, blue crystal. I think it has just the teeniest bits of malachite in it. They grow together, but I think there's like teeny tiny bits on here. You may feel a really big pull and a real big boost of confidence in your throat here. Would this upgrade cause someone to feel lost and not themselves? Um, it could, Jacqueline, if you're really kind of resistant to it, but mostly the overwhelming feeling I've had from everyone is that they feel it but they're kind of a little bit scared of it. But they feel it and they're like, I kind of want to go to it, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I love that rain. Yes, this Azurite, it looks like it's just so deep blue and it almost looks fake because of how blue it is, but it is a natural blue. It grows this blue. Oh, hello. Hello, throat chakras. Everyone's throat just got really loud. <laughs> you need to be heard. Speak clearly. You're so welcome, Alexis. Let your throat have like a megaphone on it. You need to be heard. People can listen. They can take the time to listen. And if they don't want to listen, whatever. Keep speaking your truth. Speak your power into existence. This is a great stone I would recommend for public speaking. <laughs> it just brings so much clear confidence to the throat. Let's use a strophalite with it. This is going to be an interesting combination, but I'm excited to see. People are so mean, it discourages me. I'm so sorry, Alexis. People can be vile, <laughs> especially on the internet. <laughs> it is strange how people can be. I completely understand. But you have to just like let it go, ignore them. I know that's like really basic advice. But honestly, a lot of those people are just looking for attention and they're very insecure within themselves. So you have to just be like, look, you don't even matter to me. You're not someone I would ever come to it for advice. So why would I take any sort of criticism from you? Ooh, this is interesting feeling. Look through the eyes of source and see the light. Absolutely. Ooh. So the astrophilite, now that it's paired with the azurite, it feels like I'm going to pull you into speaking your truth. <laughs> you are going to like it. We are going to do it. <laughs> it feels a little stern. Did it? Astrophilite is a little cold. Is Azurite cold? Yeah, they both have a cool energy. Hey, Andrea. How are we feeling with this combination? Again, if you're like zoned out, just stay zoned out. But if you want to share your thoughts on how this combination feels, absolutely type it in the chat. I'm always interested to hear what people are feeling. 
to me, again, this just feels kind of like a parent being like, you're going to do it. This is for your own good. You're going to do it. Weird. I saw a snow leopard related to my throat. Oh, I love that. Snow leopards are powerful and they're kind of sneaky, but in a good way. So to me, that feels like your power is a little bit sneaky, but then you'll be like, bam, look at me. Look at how sleek I was. I'm amazing. Your third eye is vibrating. I love that. It's probably the Azurite and the Astrophilite. Combo makes me want to zone and be very chill. I love it. <laughs> in your throat, yes. The Azurite is working overtime in the throat. And the Astrophilite is like supporting it, being like, we're doing it. You need to do this thing that kind of scares you. You need to be loud. You need to be heard. You need to step into your power. <laughs> and I'm going to push you a little bit is what it feels like. <sighs> feels great. Throat block feels like it's being pulled out. Yes, cat. I love it. Started speaking my truth Sunday. Yes, Andrea, that is awesome. I feel like now is just the time for people to really take advantage of, you know, living their truth, speaking their truth, um, doing the things that they thought weren't achievable. Like now is the time. Now is the time to get your energy right, really make it a priority to clear it and heal it. Annie, I'm so happy you came with came to a decision about that. I'm so sorry it has to be that way, but I'm glad you came to a decision about it. And I hope everything goes your way. Thank you for consenting. And again, if you're new here, say hello. We have an amazing group of people in here where you can chat, you can share. We're all here to support one another. And let this be your time to do something for yourself. And thank you for doing something for yourself. We live in a society where we really look down on self-care. We tend to label it as laziness. And it's like, mm, it's not laziness. You're not a machine. You can't give and give and give if you never rest. One, one, one. Oh, I missed it, Kelsey. <sighs> absolutely, Annie. And I hope that they absolutely hold them responsible. <sighs> but again, I'm so sorry that had to happen. Absolutely. Throat chakra. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Ooh. Why did I just see bananas and hear bananas? Is someone like eating a banana or thinking about one? That was the weirdest thing ever. Okay. Sometimes random things like that come to me too. Like one night I was smelling, oh, what was it? Was it the cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works? And some people are like, I just sprayed it. I'm like, I don't know why I needed to know that, but uh, the universe told me about it. I've been seeing bananas for a while. Interesting, Alexis. Hmm, maybe it'll give me more information. You just bought bananas? <laughs> See, I don't know. I don't know why I got that little drop of information, but I don't know. Maybe it's a collective thing because Alexis is seeing it too. It's been happening with this teacher for years. Yeah, that has to come to a stop, Annie, 100%. It could be Alexis because I also kind of got like a, like a happy feeling when I saw the banana. So maybe it's relating to, um, the solar. Oh, Annie, I am so happy that Reiki helped. Maybe we should go into the solar. Let's do it. Let's use the, um, almost called it green calcite. I don't know colors. Uh, yellow calcite. Bring in some happy feelings. Oh, that went straight into the solar. Just 
Just let the joyous, happy feelings come in. Let your stresses just melt away for this moment. It's okay to put things down for a moment. Don't ever feel guilty about needing to take a break. When you take breaks, it helps your mind reset and recharge. So then when you jump back into whatever it is, you're more clear headed. I give my power away to food. Speaking to my Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, Alexis, I understand that too. We are going to just let these problems disappear for right now. So then when you jump back into like solving them, you'll have a clear mind. You won't be going in circles. And Reiki can help with that too, Alexis. It absolutely can. There's pretty much not anything Reiki can't help with. Yeah, we could probably go back up there, Andrea. Right now we're just in the solar, bringing in some really bright, fun, happy energy. It's definitely feeling like some of you are feeling guilty about feeling good. Like there is, there are some problems or a big problem and you feel guilty if you're not focused on it all the time. It is okay. It is okay to unplug for a minute. I'm so sorry, Andrea. You see brown in yours? Interesting, Alexis. Let's keep bringing in this bright energy. We could also do like a quick, I call it like a chakra tune up or blow out because <laughs> I also use my breath to clear everything out. So we could do that in the chakras too, the, the main ones straight down the body, not all 100 and something <laughs> that would take forever. And I don't even know all 100 and I think it's like 14, but they're all interconnected. So when you're working on one, it connects to the other ones. Oh, I love that. Rose Quartz is so dreamy, so sweet and loving. Okay, how do we feel about a chakra tune-up? I feel like we could do that real quick. Again, if you consent to the Reiki, you consent to the, the energy work, we can do this chakra tune-up. Absolutely, we can definitely do it. And again, if you're like in the zone, if you're zoned out, you don't have to take yourself out of it. Yes, we can definitely do it. Oh, I have like a piece of something on my finger. I think it's a piece of scum. All right, so let's start. No, let's start from bottom. Um, yes, we can absolutely do it. So let's start with the root chakra. So I'm gonna spit, give it a nice spin and then blow. Let's do that one more time. You may feel kind of like a breeze, but like, oh. <laughs> now the sacral. One more time. I feel like we're gonna need to do that twice on all of them. Uh, solar. If you've been here, you know I love to call the sacral the solar and the solar the sacral. No idea why. Anyway, now to the heart chakra, throat chakra. This is this one feels like it's going to be a doozy, so just hang on. Three times. And now we're going to do the third eye. Thank you, Ricky. <sighs> crown. I was like, wait, where are we? We're in the crown. <sighs> star. Let's do the star too. <sighs> Let's do the earth star below the feet too. 
And then just blowing some breath through all of them. Absolutely, Amor. Yes. Having thankfulness, showing your thankfulness to each chakra. Yes, drink water. Hydrating is so important in energy work. How are your chakras feeling now? They feel airy and clearer to me. You guys are doing great. Lots of pressure on the crown. Yes. You sneezed. That, that was energy moving. Just let your chakras radiate. Tell them I give you power. That's what I'm hearing. I give you power. Interesting phrase. Yes, Jesse. Reiki can absolutely help with that. We can go back into the body too. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you, Savvy. I feel my heart chakra shifting. Yes. They feel a lot better now. They feel like they're coming alive. I think it's a it's an appropriate time. It's a good time. We can go back down into the body. So we can start at the feet. Work our way up. Thank you, Annie, for the uh, rose. And what do I want to do? I always, I lean so heavily on my carnelian for um, physical pain. So I use it a ton in these lives. So we will start at the bottoms of the feet with carnelian again. Let that heat start to build. Let your toes relax. I don't have time for a Reiki session, but need your energy cleared. Oh wait, I thought <laughs> I was reading that like you were saying you needed it. <laughs> Thank you, Reiki. <laughs> yes, I do have an energy clearing candle spell available if you don't have time for appointment and just need like a quick blow out of your energy. I was like, wait, what? Hello, Haley. How are you? Welcome in. How's your Wednesday been? Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's kind of comical me trying to read comments in Reiki because sometimes like I'll read them like I think I know what they say and I read them incorrectly and I'm like, mm, that is not what that person said. <laughs> Really working on the feet here and the ankles for a moment. So Annie, I'm gonna stay on till 10.30 like normal. This is just a test. I don't know if this will stay a thing from 8.30 to 10.30, but normally it's from nine to 10.30 for those who don't know. So I'm just testing it out. If it becomes permanent, I will of course put it in my bio, but twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 p.m. Eastern to 10.30 p.m. Eastern, you have me for an hour and a half to just completely relax. Has a crystal ever died while using it? Uh, no, Sammy, I've never had that happen. Never like died. Maybe just like needed to like blow some of the energy around it away, but not like completely stopped working. Like crystals have been forming for millions, thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. Like these are old, these are ancient. They have been infused with that power for all those years. I do not believe that they can be, um, like their energy can stop working. Um, there was a guy on Instagram. I can't remember who he was. He's a very cool, um, like rock person. If I can think of his name, I'll share it. Um, but he does not believe that either. Cause there was like a thing going around TikTok where they were like, you can, you know, like zap all the energy out of your crystal. No, these things have been forming for millions of years. They are chock full of power, but sometimes they get a little murky, just like blow it away, cleanse it. You're so welcome. 
I think I missed a comment. I was just reading. Hang on. And I have a smudge on my glasses that I'm having to look around. <laughs> Sunshine, ground, absolutely. Put it in salt. Use your breath. Use sound. You can clap around them. Ring a bell. Um, moon water. Put them under the moon. If you have a potted plant, stick it in a potted plant too. If you can't like go outside and put it in the ground. <sighs> Thank you, Ricky. Dusted all of your crystals, yes. Dust them too, like physically clean them too. Just get that energy moving and shaking. Sometimes it just needs like a little refresher because our energy like gets around them. Um, you know, just need to clean them a little sometimes. It does help the plant too, yeah. Glad you feel better. I mean, I didn't mention we are working up the calf muscles now. So if you feel some heat and maybe like some pushing, massaging on the calves, that's just me taking a lot of time here in the feet and legs. You're cold. <laughs> hmm. I want to put sunstone under the feet, so you're not going to see this crystal in my hand, so I'm going to set it down, but I have it energetically placed under your feet to help bring in some more heat too. Then we're going to work up into the knees. I feel like some of you need to be wearing compression socks. If you notice some swelling, compression socks can help. Oh yes, it did. Thank you. I love it. I was going to message you um, about it, but I just haven't had time yet. But yes, I was like, oh, I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> did you, Irene? Yes. I'm glad you felt it. I love it. I have instantly heard like ocean vibes. <laughs> I don't, I don't have one. My elbow just popped if you heard that. Threw me off guard for a second. And again, if you're new, if you're just joining, just consent to the energy flow. Reiki is sentient and respects your free will. Does the channel channeling of life force energy created in Japan? You can use it for anything from physical, mental, uh, spiritual healing, spiritual development. <sighs> and going up into the thighs. Let that energy radiate in the thighs. Up into the hips. And then I'm just working down from the hips down to the feet for a moment, really concentrating on that area again. like a disc problem, like a weak or deteriorating disc. That's what I'm picking up on. Just being very gentle here, bringing that warmth up the back and the spine. Sending gentle healing energy to it. You do, Amber. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the finger heart, Haley. Right side of the spine is where it meets the hips. Oof. Krista, you too. I am so sorry, everyone. Just sending some extra healing, warming energy there. Like I, I felt when I came right up on it, it started to feel a little weak. And I was like, oh, made me feel a little sad. <laughs> oh, broken tailbone. I'm so sorry. Toasty. 
glad this is helping. Thank you all for doing something for yourself. Don't forget to try to work in self-care where you can. And again, also I forgot to mention, um, so if you need to like do something else, but you still want to get the Reiki healing in these lives, you can just like let this play in the background, put the phone down. As long as you've consented, the Reiki will flow. So work it in where you can. I know it can be so incredibly hard sometimes um, to get it worked in, especially in our society today, where a lot of us are just working to, you know, try to pay the next bill. I get it. And I'm sorry it has to be that way. And it really sucks. But I hope we can change that. Yeah, Andrea, definitely try to meditate again if you're being called into it. Responding so powerfully to energy work tonight. Oh, I love it. I'm glad you're feeling it. Yes, balance is key where we can make balance. And again, I love to do these lives because I know not everyone has the ability to work one-on-one -on -one, um, for whatever reason. So I love to do these lives to try to give everyone some healing. And then we just kind of went straight up the body and I forgot to mention I was going all the way up, but that's what we did. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell by my hands I was working higher. Really building some heat around the head and around the shoulders. I feel like the shoulders are really needing it a lot right here. Thank you for the bear, Annie. It looks like a gummy bear to me, but they call it high bear. I always want to call it a gummy bear. I get it. <laughs> I love that. That's too funny. Also, I haven't mentioned in a minute, if you're not sure what kind of appointment or service, the services are included in the quiz too. You're not sure what you want, what you need, the quiz can help you as well. And if you take the quiz and you're still just really like, look, I can't decide on a service, send me a message, tell me what's going on, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and I will help you choose one. <laughs> There's a contact me form on my website and there's a contact for me in my uh, link tree as well. And I will reply, reply, can't talk, reply to you via my email, which is carolyn at starbloomhealing.com. So if you think I didn't reply to you, just check your spam just in case. Sometimes it'll filter in, into there if I've never uh, emailed you before. I'm feeling so much in the shoulders. I keep getting brought back to the, shul the shoulders. What is this? It feels like a person is bringing me to the shoulders or someone that was a person and is now a spirit. What do you want? <laughs> Not trying to be rude, but what do you want? <laughs> Interesting. This is kind of getting over into mediumship. Um, I am a bit of a medium too, but it's not like my main practice or my main focus. Um, but a lot of times it does happen in our Reiki sessions, which can be very special and very cool. Absolutely. It definitely gets trapped in the body. Um, but I feel like a, a male type spirit putting hands on shoulders. And it's like, I need them to feel okay. I need them to feel like they're doing a good job. I need them to like take this weight off their shoulders. That's what I'm feeling. I'm Aries, Taurus rising, Aries sun, Virgo moon. I need all the help. <laughs> oh, Alexis. 
Yeah, it feels just so grandfatherly. It's like, I need this person, I need these people to feel okay. It's not giving me a specific like person, so I feel like this is kind of a collective, like a collective of grandfathers right now holding onto people's shoulders. A collective of like male type spirits. So if this is resonating with you, you, it's okay to feel okay. They need you to feel okay. You are doing a good job. Take the burden off your shoulders. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself about what you're doing. You're doing the best you can. That's what I'm hearing. Annie, your shoulder's bothering you. I'm so sorry. We are working there right now. And sometimes really simple messages like that come through the universe because we need to be reminded But again, in sessions, I do ask if spirit, loved ones, guides want to come in and help facilitate healing. A lot of times they'll pop in and just be like, hey, I'm here. I'm just here to support. <laughs> and it's pretty cool when we bring them through. But mediumship is quite different from Reiki. So that starts to enter another space. So they don't try to interfere too much. They just try to like pop in, drop a quick message or let me know what they're doing. And then they'll just hang out in the background. <laughs> anyone else popping in right now? No, not that I feel. It was just that grandfatherly energy for a moment. Just like holding on to the sides of the shoulders, you know, like this, like when someone's like, you know, just grasping you gently. I lost my grandpa in 2018. I have a lot of self-doubt. Oh, India, I am so sorry, but I'm glad that resonated. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Welcome in. Um, I did want to ask Carolyn, did you get my second email in reference to candles? I sent you another one. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Let's work down. Let's go into the stomach and ease the stomach too. You're welcome. Just wanted to make sure you got it. Oh, India, I'm glad it is comforting. So my lives are twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. If I'm ever not live, I'll normally post a video and then make a comment um, that I won't be live. I do too, I have tummy issues too. Oh, I think I missed a comment, hang on. Was there two, two, two? I totally missed it. Or were you just seeing two, two, two somewhere? <laughs> oh, speaking of, it's not up yet. So <laughs> I'm going to get your hopes up, but it's not up yet. I'll send it out and announce it. Oh, like, oh my goodness. Thank you everyone for over 20,000 likes. Thank you all for supporting, sharing, getting the live out, and most importantly, doing something for yourself. Um, so we will be doing a new moon candle ritual infused with Reiki. New moons are for um, manifesting. So I'll have you send me your manifestations. We'll do our candle burning similar to how we did our full moon candle burning. Thank you. Um, so again, I will list that once I list it. I'll announce it, and then of course I'll announce it in the lives, and if they haven't sold out by live time, you can buy them on the live, um, and it's going to be a bit more personalized, so I'll have you numbered on my tray, so I can also send you a picture of your individual candle and the energy I was feeling um, with it specifically, and I'll charge them on camera too and tell you what I'm feeling. So I feel like everyone really loved our, our full moon ritual, so we are going to do a new moon ritual too. Oh, thank you, Amber. I'm glad you felt it. Thank you, Bandit. Thank you. And that is, I think our new moon is Monday. So I gotta get that up quick. <laughs> but full moons are for releasing. Release, release your junk. Release the plans that didn't work. 
New moons set new intentions, set new plans, send them out into the universe. Is it happy birthday the day before the, the new moon? Let's bring in a little bit of Bumblebee Jasper just to settle the tummies a little bit more. And I love how this one kind of looks like a bee, like this sort of looks like wings. And this kind of looks like a bumblebee butt. <laughs> I love it. I didn't pick it. Like I just ordered it and you just, you know, got what you got. So it's so funny that they sent me this and it's, you know, it's like fat, like a bumblebee too. I love it. I was like, they couldn't have picked a more perfect one. This song is very clingy. Hang on a second. It's just too clingy for my ears here. Let me just switch it. There we go. And Bumblebee Jasper is great. It was, I was like, this is not the vibe. <laughs> um, so Bumblebee Jasper is just really good for settling those tummy issues. So if you have some, especially from anxiety, this is really good for it. Oh my God, you have beads. <laughs> This is nicer. This is a nice wood flute. It's great. <laughs> Not that clingy. Yes. I collect a lot of things too. I collect, you know, like sticks, leaves, sometimes dead bugs, just whatever calls to me that's on the ground. I have a jar um, with crepe myrtle leaves. Um, they're in a, I don't have it here, but it's like a little bitty jar with a cork and I like to open it and smell it. It smells so good. Hello, Jim. How are you? Welcome in. We are uh, working in the stomach right now with Bumblebee Jasper. If you're having any tummy issues, this will help. Oh my goodness. I found a Luna moth um, two years ago now. I don't have the wings anymore because they're so delicate and I didn't have a way to preserve it. But I was like, I have never found Luna moth wings. It can be, Alexis. Thank you, Jim, for the flowers. I'm glad this is helping more, uh, Morgan. Um, so fear can be. We hold a lot of like our stress and fear in our stomachs. It's very normal. That's why a lot of us have tummy issues. Um, I'm a tummy, tummy uh, problem girl myself. <laughs> um, but it can be. It can be in the solar. It can be in the sacral. It can be in the root, too. No, you're fine, Alexis. And thank you again, all for consenting. Thank you for being here and doing something for yourself. Security and safety, yes, those are def definitely the lower chakras. I get it. I had a lot of fear and anxiety from trauma as well. Thank you for the finger hearts, Jim. But I am no longer, um, I'm no longer held prisoner by it because of Reiki. I owe it really all to Reiki. So if you resonate with that, Reiki can absolutely help. Oh, Alexis, I'm glad. Yes, we have a really great group of people that come in here that are so supportive. Um, you guys really make the community what it is. Thank you very much. Yeah, I totally get it. Reiki can help you bust through that. Um, one of the biggest ways Reiki helped me again was getting rid of my fear, um, getting rid of the feelings of insecurity, like feeling unsafe physically and mentally, and also clearing the fog that anxiety and fear and trauma creates. Because um, when you're living in that state of fight or flight, you're like, how do you make life happen? You're like, life happens for everybody else, but how does it happen for me? I don't know how to like make it happen. That was one of my biggest things. Reiki helped me bust through that and here I am, three and a half years later, doing Reiki appointments for people, seeing people grow, getting results for people, getting people new clients, helping people work through trauma. Reiki's amazing, truly amazing. It is, it's Bumblebee Jasper and it looks like a bee. It's so cute. 
So I do have a secret package, not on my website, you won't find it. Um, I can offer it again. Um, the start date would probably be sometime in August or September. We could work on a, a start date, but I'm kind of filling up a little bit for one on like blocks of one on one. Oh, Andrea. Um, so it is called the Clear Beginnings Package. Um, it's six sessions, six candle clearings. We clear the fog fast. We get you out of that anxiety state. We get you out of that trauma state. We open up the clouds so you can see the sun and see how to make life happen. So if that resonates with you and you would like that package, I can offer a payment plan as well. It'll be seven, seven, seven cookies. Um, send me a message. You can only request that package via message. It has to be something you want, something you are ready for, something you take initiative on. So I created that package for someone like me, if that resonates with you or who I used to be rather. But again, that is only by request. I don't foresee that becoming something I list all the time or something I offer all the time. So that is something that you have to jump on and request. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you love it. You're releasing, yes, I love it. Just working in the tummy a bit more. I feel some anxiety coming up and I feel like as we were talking, People were releasing, they were letting go. Feel this in your hip, that is very cool. <laughs> energy, we store energy all over. But one of the, the, or not one of, but some of the biggest places we hold our, our trauma and anxiety is our stomachs, our hips, our shoulders. And you sneezed, yes. Yeah. I was saying earlier, I think it was allergy related. So um, I only lasted two hours at work on Monday. I was like, I can't do this. Went back to work Tuesday, came back to work today as well. Thought I was doing okay. Then all of a sudden, like tears just start rolling out of my eyes and I start sneezing as I'm talking to someone. So I'm having to be like, hang on and just like sneeze attack. And then I sound like I'm a, I'm a frog. Like my voice completely changes. And I'm like, this is so embarrassing. I do not know what just happened. I sound like I'm crying, like I can't, <laughs> like I'm about to break down or something. It was, it was great. <laughs> I hope so. I hope that was the last of it, Lauren, because I was like, I can't do this. I can't work all day like this. Consent again to it. I want to pull more energy out of your stomachs. So this is going to help with anxiety as well as what we were focusing on earlier, which was connecting with our dream lives, connecting with our goals, connecting with our soul purpose, our spirit purpose. So if you want to take a big deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you to envision sending over that energy to me. It won't hurt me. I'm going to help you pull it out, clear it, send it to Reiki and then heal where it comes out. Oh, Andrea, I love that. So breathe in. Breathe out, send it over. Push, 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 send it over, send it over, send it over. Thank you, Stephanie, for the big love. Let it go. I'm gonna send it up to Reiki to clear it and transform it. Here comes the sneeze. And fill it with Reiki. My dyslexia hit hard and I thought it said we had 1,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, take another big deep breath in. Send that energy over for me. Send it over, send it over as you exhale. And I'm just kind of like creating a ball of energy. There goes my voice. Did you just hear it? Keep sending it over. Yes, one day Ricky will put it out there. Sending it up into Reiki. I have a 
hard time switching between Reiki and Ricky. <laughs> so you might hear me call Reiki Ricky and Ricky Reiki. <laughs> Fill it with Reiki in the stomach. Fill bubbles in your heart, feel congested. Interesting, Alexis. You've got some energy that needs to move. So if on this next one, you would want to envision pulling energy down from the heart and sending it over, you can do that here too. Hello, Alex, how are you? It's okay, okay. I, can't, I can't talk, geez. Okay, take a big deep breath in. Collect that energy as you blow out. Send it over. Just gently pulling it out. Keep sending it. Keep sending it. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Welcome in. I'm kind of clawing this one a little bit. <laughs> Send a little bit more, especially from the chest. Okay, that's good. That's good. Send it up into Reiki to clear it. You can, Catherine. You can do Reiki with no hands, too. You can send Reiki just thinking it. You can beam it with your eyes, your hands. You don't even have to use your hands. There's times like I need to send Reiki to someone um, and I just think it. You can send it from anywhere. Elbows, toes. My feet get really hot doing Reiki too sometimes and I can feel it come out. An extra half hour and I'm still over here like it's only 9.15. Lauren, <laughs> you guys already positively gaslit me into an hour and a half. You want more? <laughs> you crack me up. If you haven't been here before, this was something that happened a long, long time ago. I used to only go live for an hour. Um, and we called it positive gaslighting. So I added an extra 30 minutes um, and everyone seemed to really like it. And now I've added another 30 minutes. So now it's two hours tonight. <laughs> I wish I could go live more, but I have a full-time job. I gotta be a big girl and pay my bills. Reiki does not allow for me to do that just yet, to just do Reiki yet. We're putting that out yet. Work in. I don't know where I would fit three hours in. <laughs> It'd be cool if I could, but I don't know where. <laughs> no, I love that you want to be on longer. I wish I could, but I have a big girl job. I gotta do big girl things. <laughs> Just continuous streaming. T see me take naps and then wake back up and do more. <laughs> they do, Bandit. All good things take a little time. I end at 10.30 Eastern time, which is about 15 minutes. So soak, soak this up. 15 minutes of Reiki is still amazing, Reiki. Thank you, Ava. On that subject, thank you, Ricky. Just got home, put him down. Oh, Marie. I hope he had a fun time and is just soaking up that wind. Napping while doing Reiki. <laughs> Reiki does not know time. It does not know time nor space. And that's how I am able to send it to you if you are around the world, you're in a different time zone. So I'm not using the phone per se. I'm using the phone to connect with you and ask for your consent. But you can think of it as like our spirits, our energies, our souls, whatever you want to call it, connecting up in the universe. So that time and space, like it does not keep us from feeling and sending energy. Sorry if I missed your comments, they kind of came in at a block again. <laughs> oh, Andrea, definitely try to get some rest. I hope you can. And again, I repost these to YouTube. So if you miss them or you want to do a certain part again, you can rewatch it. Again, that energy is still available to you. It's already been created. It is there for you to keep accessing. 
Absolutely. Absolutely, Catherine. Reggie, I have never heard of that exactly. Did someone say you did? Yes, Hannah, we still do tuck in every night. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Alexis. Let me wipe off my glasses real quick here. It's kind of driving me nuts. My eyelashes hit my glasses because I don't have like a very tall bridge in my nose. And so it doesn't matter what glasses I have. They like kind of like windshield wipers on my glasses. <laughs> Hello, Haley. How are you? Welcome into Wednesday night. We're just letting all this energy marinate to incorporate. I got cut with glass and I lost so much blood and passed out and then the next day got my period. Huh, interesting. Our, our periods can definitely be affected by like stressful events. And you weren't due for it? It's possible it could have been brought on because of that event. Cause that's, that is stressful like energetically and physically. Sorry to hear my husband feeding the dog. Just let yourself relax here. Just enjoy, soak up the moment. Yes, it is, Catherine. My cycle is very sensitive too, so if like if I'm stressed out, something stressful happens, my cycle definitely tends to change. And it can be heavier and lighter based on that too. Good night, Andrea. Um Rachie, I was going to suggest if you have some copper to keep near you, since you just experienced that, keep some copper near you. It will help with energizing. Just help you, like, just, it's a gentle energizing effect. Yeah, Liv, absolutely. Ryan is so sensitive. Thank you for accepting. And thank you for being here and doing something for yourself. I can smell that copper on my hands. Is that weird? <laughs> copper, like it, it has a smell. <laughs> yeah, there were several times that happened to me too, Catherine. I'd be like, where is it? I'm like, oh yeah, I've been freaking out about a paper and the finals. Oh, awesome, Hannah. I'm glad you're feeling it. And again, let's just relax here. The universe is just saying, just let it soak up. Just let things be. We did quite a bit of work tonight. And my hair is going crazy. I have like curlier hair, but I straighten it and then recurl it because, you know, that makes sense. I don't know how to take care of my curly hair. That's why I do it. It's like these little pieces start trying to <laughs> drives me nuts. So if you ever see me doing that, it's not like a vanity thing. It's like, it's annoying me and it's stuck to me. Ooh, Venus is in retrograde. I totally forgot. I'm just sort of like holding the energy above your head and at the base of your feet. super familiar with Venus retrograde because I don't feel like it affects me that much. 
Now Mercury can. Does anyone know specifically what a Venus retrograde is about? I'm blanking. I can tell you all about Mercury. I think most people are familiar with Mercury. It makes you confront things. Self-love. Ooh, I love it. Messes with relationships and values. I love astrology too, but I will be the first to admit I'm not super well versed on it. Because it's a lot to learn, especially if you're trying to read charts. That makes my head spin. It's accurate. I feel like it is so accurate. I feel like it resonates, but trying to teach myself how to do it, that nearly sent me into a crisis. <laughs> I need someone to sit down one-on-one -on -one with me and teach it to me. That could be it, Ricky, Venus and retrograde. I feel like Vedic astrology is amazing. Um, I follow someone here called uh, Carefree Brown Girl. She does Vedic astrology. I love it. That's considered more like the, the OG, the original astrology. Um, I think it's very accurate. And your sign will change in Vedic. So I think, don't quote me, but last time I calculated it, I think I switched from Pisces to Scorpio. And there's like different types of Scorpios too. So it's not like in our more Western astrology where there's just like one. So there, I think there's like seven different types. There's a lot of different types of each sign. So it's very, it's more specific and breaks it down even more. Wait, what, what should it, what everyone randomly know? <sighs> I finally got a car after having my license. Congratulations, Morgan. I love it. All oh, retrogrades give us a chance to work on whatever the planet rules. Absolutely, Irene. Absolutely. And that's what really helped me start powering through Mercury retrogrades is not seeing it as a time of, oh, everything's going to go wrong. You know, looking at the things that it was bringing to me that were going wrong, like, okay, well, how can I fix this? What do I need to be paying attention to? Uh oh, I think I froze. Am I okay? Can people see me? Can people hear me? Give me just a second. It looks like it is still frozen. We might be coming back. Here we are. We're live again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck you in to a bed made of Reiki. We just have four minutes left, but I think TikTok is like, you're done. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and just tuck everyone in. Oh my gosh, it won't let me out of the light. 